Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be applying and sharing with you 10 products that make me feel flawless. So if you want to find out what those 10 products are, then just keep watching. Hey guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I fancy myself to be a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and sharing it with you guys. But for today's video, we are taking a step away from the new makeup on the market and coming back to some of my good old favorites. So my friend here on YouTube, Patty Alonzo, actually created a video called Nine Makeup Products That Make Me Feel Flawless. And I love that video idea. I think it's really fun to sit down and just tell you guys what some tried and true products are that maybe I don't get to talk about so often because my channel is primarily about new makeup but truly all of these products are very enjoyable for me to apply and they always make me feel really good really beautiful really flawless so let's get into these 10 products but let's start off with foundation because of course in order for me to feel flawless i want a nice full coverage foundation and for that i actually chose the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless foundation this foundation has full full coverage you guys every time i wear this this foundation literally there is not a flaw on my face the color is a little bit off so just ignore that it will oxidize to be a much better match you guys but this foundation is so full coverage and it just literally makes any imperfection I have disappear it gets rid of all of the discoloration it's really incredible I typically do prefer a lighter coverage I would say more medium coverage foundation something that my skin can breathe through a little bit it's something that it has a little bit more of a glowy finish but if I'm ready to go heavy duty and I want to feel primed and flawless and just like a new person I love this foundation for those types of occasions it's just so good and it's not like my favorite foundation by any means this is not the type of foundation that I go for daily but every time I wear it I just I do I feel like a whole new person and sometimes we just want to feel like that so yeah this foundation makes me feel perfect <laughs> beautiful and perfect i know it's not reality but i love this foundation and i would even say i don't even really love the way that this foundation wears but my skin just looks so perfected it's crazy i mean you can see I look like I'm wearing a mask, but such a beautiful foundation definitely makes me feel flawless. Let me quickly draw in some eyebrow hairs. Now, of course, brows make me a new person, but I feel like the product that really just sets in the brow and makes me feel like Mm, has to be an eyebrow gel. Now, I have a lot of different eyebrow gels that I like for different purposes, for different base products that I put down first on my brows, but I have to say a tried and true for me that I feel like really glues down and really tames my brows is the Sigma Beauty Tint and Tame Brow Gel. So I have a colored one of this one as well, but I just love the clear one for when I do fill in my brows with color. And there's something about the way that this sets my brows and this really directs my brows hair and my brow hair listens to this so there's something about after I finish with an eyebrow gel that makes me feel like a whole new person yes using that eyebrow pencil of course it made me feel good but there's something about finishing with that brow gel to tell your hairs where to go the feeling that a simple brow gel can give me I feel like it gives my brows a whole new look and literally a whole new action and don't get me started with concealer I feel like as I'm getting older and I have more things to do with my time I used to not have any problems with under eye discoloration I feel like I'm starting to see that now and there's something about the way the Too Faced Born This Way concealer just glides and blends over the skin and smooths everything out like I don't need a lot of concealer I'm not one of those people that just like draws concealer all over their face though this concealer is so beautiful that sometimes I do do that more so like as a foundation <laughs> I'll put this concealer absolutely everywhere but this is like one of the smoothest creamy high coverage concealers now it's not super high coverage you know it's not gonna cover everything but since my dark circles are minimal this is more on the higher coverage than what I usually do so it really 
gives me that extra brightness to my face. Oh, oh my gosh, it's been a while since I've used this concealer. I've been stuck on my Pat McGrath. This concealer is just so bomb. I love it. Right now, I feel like my base, there is nothing on my face. It's crazy. A little bit of foundation in my hair. That's okay. The next product that always makes me feel flawless is a cream bronzer. While I still do love my powder bronzers, there's something about the way that a cream bronzer just blends into the skin. Now, I have a lot of cream bronzers that I love. I pulled out my Soleil Tendé Chanel. This is the old formula. You can't get this anymore. I will put the link to the new formula down below. But I also have a lot of other cream bronzers that make me feel just as flawless. Like, I really enjoy the Huda Beauty. I really enjoy the Milk Makeup. Those are kind of my top three. So any of those make me feel flawless. But when your girl wants a little bit more warmth to her face, just to look like I went on vacation, the Soleil Tendé Chanel really gives me that vacation look where I feel like the Huda and the Milk, they give me just a pretty nice neutral bronze and shape. But this one gives me straight, I went on vacation and sat out, which is important for me to have that kind of feeling because I hate laying out in the sun. It's too hot. I can't do it. So this product is absolutely perfect. And again, the way that a cream just blends into the skin makes me feel like a perfect human being. Love me a cream bronzer. If you happen to have a Soleil Tendé Chanel, pull it out. It's amazing. Next, I have a powder that I feel like just blurs, smooths, and sets like no other. And that is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I love this stuff. I use the shade Fair Light for underneath my eyes. So I'm gonna make sure that my under eyes are all ready to go for powder. And I just use my sponge. And this is my favorite powder to pack on underneath my eyes. I'm not normally a big baker. And I mean, I don't consider this really baking at all. But when you really press this powder into the under eyes, I feel like it smooths everything and your creams underneath just don't move. If they ever discontinue this powder, there's gonna be a riot. Like they cannot ever, ever get rid of this powder because it is incredible. There's nothing that sets my makeup better. And this is like a drugstore product. It's amazing. I'm gonna take just a touch of the light powder. Just a touch on a big brush. I'm using a BK Beauty 104 and I'm just gonna kinda set everything else since we did use a cream bronzer. Let me tell you, this makeup also is going nowhere. If you're going out, it's gonna stay. This is a perfect occasion complexion. Okay, so let's talk about the next product that I chose and we will go ahead and do eyeshadow. Now for me, it wasn't necessarily a specific eyeshadow that makes me feel flawless. I have so many eyeshadow palettes that I love, but more so a color story. And there is specifically something about the Charlotte Tilbury, the Golden Goddess that really gets me. I love this more cool toned color story. And I like a little bit of a glimmer or glitter finish to the lid. And the Golden Goddess has this as well. Like I said, there's probably a lot of different palettes that I could have pulled from my collection. I was staring at the ColourPop Bare Necessities. I was staring at my Sydney Grace Enduring Love. Anything that has a cool toned color story is going to win my heart. But every time I wear the Golden Goddess from Charlotte Tilbury though, I definitely always feel very good about myself. So we're going to go ahead and just throw some of this color on. I'm going to start off with this shade right here. I'm using a BK Beauty 201 and we're going to start this off by pressing it in the outer corner and then whatever is left, you're going to blend this throughout the crease. And I don't need a really defined look either. If I just have those light washes, I'm okay with that as well. But you know what? Sometimes I do like a very nice defined look. It really depends on my mood. I'm gonna take a little bit of the lightest champagne shade and I love this particular shade for underneath the brow. It just gives the most subtle little lift to the brow and while I'm at it, we'll just pop that in the inner corner. Taking a little bit more of a dense brush, I'm using a Wayne Goss number four. We're going into the deeper chocolate shade and we're gonna spend a little bit of time adding just a touch more depth to the eye. Pretty much doing the same thing that we did with the first color, but I'm not blending out quite so high. So you'll see this shade surprisingly adds a lot of depth. 
Like I said earlier, I love a nice little sparkle to the eye. So just placing this right on top, this is going to brighten up my eyes and then it adds a little bit of something something when the light hits. And I just love the way that this Golden Goddess palette creates this cool toned dream for me for every day. I love this quad so much. All right, so now let's move on to the cheeks. For me, I always love the way that Hourglass blushes glide onto my cheek and I feel like they give a really youthful appearance to my cheeks. They smooth over my skin very nicely and because they have that little bit of glow they just really bring my face to life. My all-time favorite blush color from Hourglass is the shade Luminous Flush. I feel like with my look today something a little bit more nude might go better so let me dig for something more nude but Luminous Flush is my favorite blush but I'm talking about Hourglass blushes in general make me feel flawless. I think I'm gonna go for Mood Flush from my Hourglass palette. We're gonna use Mood Flush because I think I prefer this blush with this look. But there's something about the Hourglass blushes literally are just perfection. They apply the perfect amount of product. They blend out with so much ease and the finish that they give on the skin, you cannot beat it. You can't. So the next product is a highlighter that has been making me feel like a perfect human being. It's a brand new product, but I cannot put it down. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Superstar Glow Highlighter. This is new in her holiday collection. But there's something about this formula and the glow that I can't get over. This is a unique color. I found it very hard to find a similar color to this highlight in my collection, but it gives the perfect amount of glow from within, but it's still perfectly beaming. And it's just, it's not too much and it's not too little. You know, it's an eye-catching highlight where people will comment on it, but they're not gonna say it looks like too much or maybe they will. But I just feel so confident in this highlighter. I love it. I've only had it for like two weeks and I literally cannot put this highlighter down. It's my favorite holiday item that's released. It's just so good, you guys. So I only have two more products left. So I'm gonna quickly line my eyes and do some mascara and we'll be back for the next product that makes me feel flawless. All right, mascara is on, but this is probably the number one product that makes me feel so flawless. It's false eyelashes. Now I have a number of different eyelashes that make me feel flawless for certain occasions and certain makeup looks. But as far as like a look that I'm wearing now where it's a little bit more subtle, I'm not wearing eyeliner, the Ardell Naked Lashes. These look like lash extensions. They look like your natural lashes, but not your natural lashes. And there's just something that's so soft and so subtle about them that wakes your eyes up. Listen, I'm a huge advocate for using our Dow Wispies and Double Wispies. Those are classics. But when the Naked Lash line came out, they knocked those lashes out. These lashes are just my go-to every single day lashes. Now these are more natural lashes, but these make me feel so naturally beautiful. Like I was born with lashes like these. I love the way that they have a little bit of curl to them that's gonna really open up the eyes. And they literally just look like lash extensions. I cannot stop talking about my Ardell Naked Lashes, but they are just the best. So now let's move on to the last and final product that makes me feel flawless. And that is a kind of contoury brown shade lip liner. The one that I most typically use is from Almar Cosmetics. This is the lip liner in the shade Dulce. It's the perfect make my lips look plump and pouty kind of color that goes with so many different lip colors. So I just love this one. Another one that's very, very close to this is Pat McGrath Labs Lip Liner and Contour. Isam also has a lip pencil. The nude lip pencil is very close to this one. So all three of those are my go-to. And I love the way that this lip pencil looks when I overline my lips. I feel like there's some where you put them on your lips and you're like, ooh. Can't overline with that color. This is a one color that I feel like it actually shades the lips, kind of like the Scott Barnes trick that really just makes it look a little bit more natural. And I'm just putting on 
a nude colored gloss. If you're wondering, it's the Dior Lip Maximizer in the shade number 16. And then boom, here we have it. This is a full face of makeup, 10 products that make me feel absolutely flawless. Now here's the catch, like this isn't like a naturally beautiful kind of look, maybe with the eye makeup, but as far as complexion, this isn't gonna give you a natural looking complexion. This is gonna give you a beat perfected complexion, glowy, gorgeous. I love the light, cool toned, sparkly, simple eye look with these natural lashes with no liner and then finally just that nice cool toned brown lip liner to pull everything together this is definitely one of my favorite everyday kind of makeup looks. I would wear this every day if I had to. So that is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys go check out Patty's video. Her video was also very wonderful. And I want to know the products that make you feel flawless. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.